Hey Dawn, Super here, helping people have better days. So I planned on doing a video about protecting your mental health, and I still plan on doing a video about protecting your mental health. And the number one thing I will put on the list is not pushing yourself too hard to provide content that you endanger your mental health. So this is just a quick little video that I wanted to drop because I said I was gonna do a video about it. So please make sure you subscribe and you've rung the bell. And I'll give you the top three things that I'm going to talk about in that video on protecting your mental health. First of all, why do we wanna protect your mental health? Um, because it helps us have better days and that's the purpose of being alive is to enjoy being a human being. Um, how do we protect our mental health? by being mindful of what's on our mind and how we're feeling and uh, how do we go about changing our mental health if it's poor is uh, what I'm gonna talk about in the video. I had a death in my life of someone that um, I really was really special to me and Mother's Day is hard for me. I did a video, 10 tips if Mother's Day is hard for you. And I deploy my mental health tools to help me through things like that so that I can continue to function. I have a lot of health issues. I have a very um, storied background in uh, trauma and abuse and protecting my mental health is something that I have to take an active part in. If you don't, it can be as simple as if you're in a bad mood listening to a happy song. But if you've got a lot more going on, like uh, childhood neglect or um, personality issues uh, based from trauma, then it's harder to protect your mental health. And I'm gonna do a deeper dive on that. So uh, the top three things I have on my list are one, know your triggers. If something regularly triggers you, try to avoid it. And um, especially if someone else is involved, like if someone does something and it triggers you, you need to be super mindful to avoid that person or when you do get triggered to deploy your coping tools, which I'll talk about in a longer video. Check in with yourself. Like sometimes I'll be feeling really, really raw and not even realize that's happening. And then when uh, sleep deprivation affects me, I have narcolepsy, so the more tired I get, the harder it is for me to process that what's even going on inside of my head, my body, etc. So checking in with yourself, like how are you feeling? Do you need a break? Do you need a nap? Are you, are you dehydrated? Like what's going on and what can we do about it? And number three is hold your own hand. It's very difficult to get through any mental health issue if you're not on your own side. And I didn't even like myself until I was 35 years old. So I know what it feels like to, to not like yourself like for a long time. And it is simply just a matter of making friends with the thoughts inside your head. And if you do have thoughts that are not kind to you, finding a way to get rid of them. And there are various techniques that I have used to help me quiet my mind and get rid of my negative self-talk. I have over 150 videos on the channel about my struggle and uh, the tips and tricks that I use to help me through it to get to this place of going beyond coping into thriving and loving my life despite having nine disabling disorders and a host of mental health uh, incidents in my past. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and I promise next week at some point I will get into six very good tips on how to protect your mental health and talk about like what it looks like when your mental health needs protecting because that was something I didn't know before I knew it either. Make it a great day. The choice is always yours. You can still have a good day even if you're dealing with hard things. Remember that. There's no do-over. Don't waste time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>